Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince with our House of Iron 4 Let's play episode with Black Eyes as Nationalist Spain. So where were we? Ah, yes. Killing the Soviet Union. If I look at this right here, Soviet Union is actually only 21% towards capitulation. So it's gonna take a while to force them out, but hey, we'll do our best to force them out. Now it's really sad how using all this CPU, all this GPU up there, and it's like 30 FPS and very, it's chugging around when I'm scrolling basically right now. So I'm it doesn't, I don't know what it is. Like what's the bottleneck? But I I guess it, it's it has to be somehow on the CPU, but it seems like it's not actually using more than 40% of the CPU, so it must be hitting a bottleneck, like something specific with the CPU, I guess, but yeah. Alright, over here though, it does appear that, yeah, we're defending nicely. We got our night vision boosts. Uh, I do want night vision too, though. I still have, of course, more stuff. I'm always gonna want the steel refinery, so I'll build it over there. There's rubber. Oh really, we can make more oil, well, why not then, and more rubber. Let's do it. Aircraft factories, fine, let's build some more. Wait, what? Are there actually already aircraft factories there? Uh, oh no, we're already building something in that. In Leon. Oh yeah, we're finishing a military factory. That's fine. Oh really? We have insufficient resources. Oh right. We we actually for once need more of this. Okay. It's like we are getting attacked and we are still trying to push forward in some areas, and we might even succeed. Fantastic. Yes. Push, uh, push our efficiency even more. Yeah, we got all these troops here and we got even some support here. So with that support, we should be able to push through. Hungarians here are doing their own good thing. Now we can't actually push through here, which is very, very sad. But here, looks like this is definitely a possibility, but we have not actually pushed through. So let's go ahead and do it. Support our friends. Because they seem to be in need. Here we're holding, but yeah, we are making our way to Moscow. Oh, there's a what, what? A Dutch naval landing with militia. I guess all I can say is good luck. <laughs> good luck. It's eighty percent in our favor. No, I did so much work here to defend with like 800 soft attack, but it's just not really enough. We had like 10 divisions, maybe. <laughs> but one division, even no matter how good it is, it's still just gonna get, like when it's outnumbered, it's still gonna lose. Look here, we got our friends doing massive damage. <laughs> That's one expect. Lots of breakthrough here though on the tank, because it's, of course, tank I would imagine so it would have a lot of breakthrough right it makes like a lot of sense we still need to push through there and we're not really making it right now oh there's a, an issue here though there we go now that is solved no no, no issue here that's fine so we are actually pushing through here which is good you know, I wish if I selected this front line, it would select the troops assigned to it. But oh well, it looks like I just need to select one division. Which is okay, I guess. I do, however, want to push in there, but it doesn't look like it's gonna go so well, but... Eh. Yeah, we are losing massive manpower, as you can see, though. That's... 
not really good at all, but I guess we did we just get Kiev? Maybe, but I don't think so because it didn't boost us too much. Oh wow, look look at these guys. We actually surrounded some of them even with how fast we pushed. Really? Really? Okay. The UK is justifying against this. What's the point? We're at war. Already, what are you doing, UK? It's retarded, I'm sorry. Alright, we just... We should have enough HQ equipment for sure now. Ah, oh, that's a really motivated army. It looks like our guys are just way too good. Look at this push here through Finland. They cannot stop it. Oh really? We lost another division? Oh, that's more than fine, I guess. Come on guys, go for it. <laughs> how about they're attacking me here and they have no idea just how strong this unit is. Oh, good luck. Yeah, just a couple of our divisions here are gonna completely smash them to bits. Look at the strength. Their, their like, tanks is dropping fast. I love it. Wow. They suffer so much damage. Because we've got mostly soft, but we're actually gonna... Eventually lose here. Nope, we got support, so yeah, now they're, they're gone. Because we're barely losing org, but yeah, now I got more friends here. Yay. So it's... Germany nearly abandoned this front line. Oh, did something happen here? Oh, yeah. Something happened, which is why Germany's pulling a lot of troops. Which is fine, because you have to deal with this, I guess. And I'm not going to get pulled out of position from by that, but... This changes the landscape drastically because they pulled so many troops west. Look at... Wow, they pulled so many troops west. This is really crazy. But we're still pushing on through. That is the important thing. We're going through. We're gonna continue going through. You know? Not sure why we were not actively pushing here, but there we go. Now we are gonna go in like crazy. Not the biggest planning bonus. Okay, Afghanistan. Oh, no. That's not really good. No, Soviets are encroaching on these. And then the... What? What are you doing, Italy? You're getting crushed by Ireland and stuff here. This isn't what I wanted to see. They managed to get their landing troops ashore and stuff. Alright, so here... We're actually engaging the attack almost everywhere. Here it's just fine if we defend, you know. Yeah. Because we are breaking through the Soviets here, but are the Japanese doing anything? No, I thought they they would be since, you know, Soviet Union is so doing such weird stuff with troops. However, yeah, Turkey's got random territories there, which I honestly cannot even tell you why. We just got formation flying though. With that we should get dive bombing. Oh and look, they're being so cute trying to actually attack this here. But we got our troops ready to support. The Germans know that we are here to help them. So they should really appreciate that right now. This is kind of a bigger front than I anticipated, but hey. It's a massive front. Oh, right. This, this is, uh, yeah, it's... Right.
There we go. That's how it's supposed to be like. Uh, this front is too small, so I'm gonna change the front line slightly. Now this right here is, again... Uh, yeah, it makes a little bit more sense now. Wow, the Soviets are getting crushed all over the place. They're losing divisions. Like, what's happened to them? Meanwhile, Germany is still pushing them. Oh, wow, look at Germany. They've... Chile sent this stuff? Nice. Look, Ger uh, UK has basically been destroyed there. That's amazing. They've lost a lot. It's very nice. Very nice. USA's lost 1.3 million. Wow. So yeah, guys, it's 1946 and Germany has not capitulated yet and seems to be making gains. So it does appear that it's not going to be like real history. <laughs> because we've already surpassed the historical Germany, I guess. It looked like it was going to go really bad, but all of a sudden it's much better. But here, see, here is the problem. Italy needs to deal with this. Or else we'll be in huge issues. Huge, uh, we'll have huge issues. I mean. Now, I don't think I need to recruit too many more troops. I need like six more guys, maybe. Alright, so. Oh no! Deleted all of them in Q, didn't I? Oh no, I didn't. Okay, so three, four, five, six. Just need to delete one. And that's gonna make six. There we go. That's the amount that we wanted. We still have plenty of manpower. Oh, we did, however, get surrounded here, which is not ideal. We cannot let that happen. Motivate the army. Always motivate the army. But yeah, getting surrounded really sucks. But we got it here. More than got it, even. Yeah, these guys, they really need to push out and def get the defense going because otherwise, yeah. I like how we're holding up here, like it's very nice along with the German division. It's amazing, but look at the Soviets, we're, we're almost at Moscow. Wow. Just wow. I never actually imagined that. Well, I did, but I thought we would no longer get it after some point. After point. Alright, so here, these guys need to also push through. So we gotta save our, our fellow... Our friends here. We cannot let them die. If I push in here, yeah, we're gonna get some help from the Germans. This is easy. There we go, we forced them out. And now trying to make sure that why are you guys just really literally like retreating right now Kiev needs to be ours we cannot let the enemy have it oh nice this is very good we're pushing in destroying them as we are basically everywhere All right I need to take that land We're still massively pushing here. It's just amazing how much we've done. Alright, that's not what I wanted, but I guess we'll do just fine now. Yep, they're retreating, they're pulling out. Advanced rocket engines. I could support, but looks like it's not gonna be enough there. Kiev, we still cannot save it, which really does make me sad, or can we though? One against one, we've got it, and now we've got some support as well, and we can support from this angle. Should give us hopefully enough time to get rid of this single tank. Nice. Motivated army. There we go, now we have saved our troops. Oh, we'll never get that, I guess. And here we're trying to push him back, but... 
Hey, there's again not much we can do. The Soviets are losing a lot of their troops. Either disbanding them or just getting surrounded. And it seems to like keep happening. It's a recurring theme. But yeah, they have like nothing. Or I mean, I guess they do, but it's not really working right now for them. And we are on the front line every, every, everywhere because Germany and Romania are like pulling out. What is this? You can't let me alone on this border, guys. Um, guys, yeah. I don't want to be alone. You can't leave me alone here. I love our stacks. Just so good. Right in here. What are you even doing? Oh yeah, they can't even attack because, yeah. So I'll stop the attack. Air doctrine, air. Well, we always want some bombers, so I guess we'll go for the attack with the bombers. Or always want, and it's already 46 and I haven't built a single aircraft. <laughs> Look at the losses. The Soviet Union has lost a lot more. Germany, not much more. I like how war contribution is barely higher than Romania. I mean, come on. We killed a lot more. Why is theirs even higher than ours? It must, don't tell me it's because they actually took more land. Oh, uh, yeah, we have. Huh. Italy has more divisions, even. They have more divisions than Germany. Wow, Italy. But yeah, we have a lot of troops. 15% Y occupation. No, actually even more than them. Okay. Okay, so it looks like Germany has actually fixed their problem. Okay, there's way too much. Too many troops there. Not attack here. Cannot actually attack here either. So I guess we'll stop. No, no, no. Here looks like we can actually attack. But here doesn't look like that's the case so we'll just hold on for a while while things settle yeah this this seems to be incredibly easy to attack if you look here the Soviets they don't seem to have any troops left so that's really good but I mean they can still clearly have the whole front line so it's not like it changed that much. It's just like not massive amounts of troops in each province, if you know what I mean. It's not the thing anymore. Oh really? Oh, we can actually push them out because we've got far better stats. So that's again a nice thing that we're doing. Right, so it's time to execute the plan here as well. All of a sudden the plan is from... Yeah, you see, it's like saying, wow, the enemy is weaker, enemy is stronger, the enemy is weaker, the enemy is stronger, all of a sudden. So that's kind of weird how the calculation there works. It doesn't seem to be reliable. Now here, if we push... Well, that's pretty reliable, because we are just crushing them. So it is right. Right, and we'll get some supporting fire in here from separate angles. Yep. Say goodbye to Smolensk, Soviet Union, and Moscow. Look at Moscow. We're nearly there, guys. We're nearly there. I know you guys can do it. We get Moscow. It's going to be so huge for us. Oh, nice. Oh, 
Oh no, I didn't want to make it that huge, you know? There you go. Should be good enough right there. Now again, I we need to push into Moscow. Very close to managing it. Not gonna break through there, unfortunately, but... Hey. This is where we'll break through. I like how it's even keeping some reserves behind, you know. That's pretty cool. Oh, that that attack is just absolutely not working. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, we're so, so close to Moscow, but... We're unable to take it right now. Country anti-tank. Hmm. Looks like it's a separate thing again. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to upgrade my support battalion, dudes. Wow. That is really shameful. Just imagine these engineers, they would have done so much more. So much more. Oh well. So, Moscow is really just that close. You're inches away from it. Well, not really, it's more like kilometers, but hey. <laughs> Sign off? No. Alright, so it looks like we will be able to make it to Moscow if we push here, yeah. Oh, they actually have someone there, you know, and not let us have it easy peasy. Yep, looks like they're not letting us have it easy peasy, they have a lot of troops in there. As I was hoping to see, you know, but I still think before I end this episode, I'm gonna be able to take Moscow. And that'll give us like three, four more, more minutes or something, you know. We don't get it, we don't get it this episode. But I can't see us not taking it next episode. <laughs> but now if we look here, so Union, yeah, it's getting close to capitulation. 24 million lost. Wow. Germany almost 11 million, so not that many anymore, but it's still a lot, of course. The casualties, though, wow. Like, really. <laughs> Numbers are just literally insane. So we are attacking into Moscow, but you know, that's not gonna go well because of the terrain, it's like urban, so it really hurts us, but with the pushes into it and with, yeah, come on, I know you got this, do it. Oh, Moscow will be ours, even faster than expected, you know. Goodness, oh, they got support here, but this unit is going down rapidly. There we go, now we have Moscow. And having Moscow, oh, Colombia, Juno, our allies. Huh. Nice. At dawn today, German panzers smashed through hastily erected barriers on the streets of Moscow, and half tracks were seen unloading. Panzer Grenadiers on Red Square. Thick, billowing smoke from the many fires raging in the suburbs could be seen rising into the air as German infantry stormed the Kremlin. Grenades and flamethrowers were reportedly needed to fight stubborn NKVD holdouts, intent on defending every last inch of the complex. Well, every last inch, that's what I added. <laughs> the, the Russian capital is now in German hands, but has been left a burning ruin. Confirmed reports indicate Lenin's embalmed corpse was safely evacuated east. Alright then, and Stalin, how are you doing? Because you don't seem to be very happy. We should probably start attacking literally everywhere, you know. 
even here where it looks like it may not look so good because the Soviet forces are in huge disarray as you can probably tell here oh we're not actually no I guess we are actually but I just didn't realize okay next tactical bomber more factories we can build so let's build all the light aircraft stuff let's build all the munitions all the uniforms oh, i guess we can beef it up there small arms factory yay so we're getting such big boosts from this is it even higher than 18 i don't think so oh yeah looks like it is you can even get 19 so i yes it's higher now, Soviets, how many troops do you have? Looks like you've lost more, potentially. I wouldn't blame them. If they've lost, like, 24 million, they're... I imagine they're soonish out of manpower. But can't really say. But they should be, right? Yeah, I love how the Germans are handling this perfectly. On this side, we can, while we're pushing here, Stalino is going to be ours. But yeah, that's enough for now. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, follow me on social media. See you next time.